yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yes sir, finna get that young About to leave work, start up My bad, y'all. I didn't, I didn't know that you guys were already in the car and uh, y'all waiting for me? Hopefully I wasn't waiting too long. My bad. You know what I'm saying? But, um, what is good, y'all? Hey, hey, young boy. You feel me? Like, you go crazy. That's one of your hardest EPs. You know what I'm talking about? But you got too much money, bruh. You feel me? I'm trying to get mines, okay? You got yours. Let me get mines. Anyway, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, in today's upload, we will be talking about Vader, man. Just overall, how it's doing after the tune. As you guys saw in the last upload, we did end up going to the quarter mile track, Houston Raceway Park, getting some passes in, man, and the car went a best time of 11.9 at 1.19, if I'm not mistaken. Um, So, let's talk about it, bro. Let's talk about it, man. So, going 11.9, um, obviously, that's the fastest I've ever been down the quarter mile um, in one of my own cars. So it was definitely an amazing experience. I must say that um, to say the least honestly um, Now moving forward. How are we gonna be able to capitalize on that 11 9 and just get that time to be lower? It's quite simple now There's one of two ways. Well, actually there's multiple ways to get you know what I'm saying your your time down at the track um, especially if you're in an automatic now in a manual it's a little bit harder um, because honestly with the manuals bro the launch is everything you slip the clutch too much and you definitely can be you know in a tight situation um, if you dump the clutch you're definitely gonna be in a tight situation then even if you do get a good launch but you get wheel hop you're still gonna be in a sticky situation so with that being said, y'all, basically, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, um, in the track day vlog, if you guys watched that video, I was telling y'all, you know, the goal was to get the car to go 11-2 or 11-3, and honestly, I really thought that, you know, that was a goal that was obtainable, um, as the car sits as is, and honestly, it is, however, there is some things that do need to be done to the car. So let's go ahead and go over, um, you know what I'm saying, what I can do to make the car go faster, what you can do to make your car go faster. Um, and that, one of the main things, other than you know adding power to the car, is definitely gonna be weight reduction. Um, now, as you guys know, my boy Will, he had his passenger seat out. Um, and you know that definitely does help with the top end at well honestly it helps with the the pull all around but when you got two cars that are neck and neck the only other way that you're gonna beat that car if you guys are already neck and neck is simply by and if y'all are both autos you feel me let me make that clear because you know in the manual you feel me big driver mod it's you hey if y'all were here for the Mustang days, then y'all already know how I get down. You feel me? We drive all around. Automatic manuals, it don't matter. But anyway, 
if you're in the auto, bro, the only way that you're going to be able to beat that car that you're neck and neck with is going to be weight reduction. And that can be as simple as instead of running the stock 20 inch tires, dropping down to an 18 inch tire with the, uh, not a, uh, not tires, but an 18 inch wheel with the stickier tire on it with a bigger sidewall, uh, you know, deleting your muffler if you have a Camaro, you guys already know. Camaros always come with suitcase mufflers. It, I, it's inevitable. And they definitely do their job, as you guys have seen with Vader and the MPP. Whenever I close these valves, man, it's like I really have a V6, honestly. I just, I can't even cap. So with that being said, bro, you could definitely shed some weight by, you know, deleting your muffler. You can definitely shed some weight by taking out the passenger seat, by taking out the rear seat. Um, going with lighter seats, going with lighter wheels, going with some people even go as crazy as going um, lightweight pulleys, bro. You feel me? Like harmonic balancers and stuff like that. So it can get real, like it can get real crazy for sure. Like you could definitely put carbon fiber body pieces on your car to replace the stock aluminum or metal pieces, such as doors, hoods, fenders, truck trunks. All of the, you feel me? All of the above. You can definitely swap out those body pieces to shed weight. Now, let's just get to the overall question. Am I going to be doing weight reduction on Vader? Am I going to be stripping the interior? Honestly, bro, no. <laughs> and is it going to make it harder for me to, you know, run these uh, faster times, get these... Uh, eighth mile times, no, not eighth mile, get these 60, uh, 60 foot time down, yes, it is going to make it harder, for sure, but is it worth it? Yeah, man, for one of two reasons, and this is just my thought process, I'm kind of just, you know, letting you guys know where I am uh, mentally on the building and, and how we're going to move forward. I personally am an interior dude. As you guys know, I've touched on this before. I've talked about it in vlogs before, bro. The interior is where you spend 90% of your time with your car. When you're driving the car, you can't see the exterior. You feel me? You only see the interior, bro. The interior has to stay, bro. The interior on the 1LE is just simply unmatched. The 1LE and the ZL1s, the interiors are simply unmatched. When you can either get the carbon fiber dash, get the Alcantara suede dash to match the Recaros, you can get the red seat belt. Now, like, bro, this is option. Do you feel me? This is not, like, this does not come with the 1LE. Like, yeah, you know. 1LE, we cool, you know, you got the Recaros, you got the Magnetic Ride, you got the um, Heads Up Display, you got the ELSD, you got a whole bunch of stuff that comes with the 1LE, but the red seat belt does not come with the 1LE, you have to spec that, and shout out to my boy Chicago Lane Changers, I actually just learned, I didn't, I personally didn't even notice, and it makes sense as to why I couldn't find any um, like that. The 1LE is a spec only car. GM does not just make a plethora of 1LEs like they do 2SSs, 1SSs, regular SSs, like LT1s, even ZL1s. The 1LE has to be spec'd from the factory for you to get it. So with that being said, bro, everything that you guys see on this car is special, is important. So with that being said, the interior cannot go, bro. <laughs> it's that simple. The most I do for the interior is probably, if my girl don't go with me to the track, I'll take the passenger seat out. Maybe even take the back seat out. I'm not even 100% sure on that. Just because as y'all can see, the red seat belt stay buckled in whether somebody's in the chair or not, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, bro, like, it's just aesthetically pleasing to me. I love getting in my car, seeing all the carbon fiber, seeing all the Alcantara, seeing the uh, 1150 stars above my head with my name in the lights, man, like, with the company name behind it. Like, I love that, and I know it adds weight, but it's cool, though, you feel me? Because 
I love it. So, hey, it's worth it to me. So, with that being said, y'all, can Vader go faster on the setup that it's at right now? Yes. Is there room for more horsepower on the setup that we're at right now? Yes. Am I completely full, Botan? No. <laughs> so, with that being said, there's a whole bunch of things that I can do to this car to make it go faster. So you guys just need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and turn on those post notifications. Join me on this ride. Join me on this journey. You feel me? Let's see how fast we can get Vader before throwing that Pro Charger at it. Before throwing the cam at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna say what stage cam I'm going with. But before we, overall, I am super proud of this car. I'm super stoked. Um, to, you know, have an 11 second car. Do I want a 10 second car? Yes. Am I gonna get a 10, 10 second car? Hell yeah, because this car is gonna be a 10 second car. Um, but am I enjoying the process? Yeah, man. So, with that being said, you already know, I'm gonna be linking up with my boy Manny. We got some stuff going on as far as the performance aspect goes. I'm already looking into So yeah, man, I got, you, you guys already know, I always have stuff in motion. I'm always, you know what I'm saying, working on the next step. I'm always looking to the future. I'm always looking to the next, uh, you know, milestone. So with that being said, don't you guys worry. We got a whole bunch of content coming, man. Vader, it went 11.9 and honestly i could have ran it again to see if i could go a little lower in the 11s but i just wanted to play it safe it was getting late i was like we already hit 11.9 i literally was like hopefully this run will go 11.9 and it did so with that being said man i got what i wanted out of the track day saw uh, where the car was got to race another car with the same setup as me that actually made more power on the dyno Shout out to my boy will you know what I'm saying? Um, your car is dope, bro. Like stop the cap your car is dope. No cap So with that being said y'all that's actually gonna wrap up today's video If you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me turn on those post notifications Give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section down below man Let me know what's the fastest pass you guys have done quarter mile in your current car your old car or you been in a ride along whatever the case may be y'all let me know in the comment section down below because i'm very very interested to know um you know what you guys this quarter mile times are obviously my fastest quarter mile time is in 11 9 um and i'm very very proud and satisfied with it um full interior with a passenger let's not forget that my wife rode with me on every single one of those passes so honestly every pass that i ever make she rides with me in the car so that's a given but like i was saying y'all that's gonna wrap it up for today's video man if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe for the kid help your boy hit 4k let's go ahead roll that outro man I'll see y'all in the next one peace